our video tutorial on mathematical operations in R. This is part one of a several part series showing you how to do various mathematical operations inside of R. Okay, so we're going to start off first by defining two vectors so that we can see how these operations work on things that are vectors and then we'll create some matrices in a minute. Okay, so I've first set up my vector A1. I'm using the C operator. Uh, to create a column of 1, 3, 4, 2, and 5, obviously 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, permuted, and again B1, 2, 1, 3, 5, and 4. Now what I want to do is, let's just do something simple, which is addition. So what I want to do first is just say, well, what happens if I take A1 plus 5? Now, if you notice, A1 is a vector, it has five elements, and 5 is a scalar in the sense that it only has one element in it, in the sense it's a single number. And let's see what happens here. And I'm, I'm not going to write it into a variable so we can see what happens in the uh, console at the bottom. Run all of this. And notice, what did it do? We have 6, 8, 9, 7, and 10, which happens to be uh, element-wise addition, in the sense of we've added 5 to each and every element. So it's not element-wise, we've actually done it across the entire vector, added a single value. And we can do the same thing with B1 as well. So we can take B1, we can add to it, let's say, 7. And when we run this, you can see it's just simply added 7 to each one of the values in B1. Now, if we add A1 and B1 together, we will see what happens here. And notice that it actually adds the values together element-wise. And this is what we're talking about element-wise. You can see I have 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 2 plus 5 is 7. 5 plus 4 is 9. So it does it element-wise. And, and you have to keep that in mind on when you're doing these operators, what it's actually doing. Uh, otherwise, you can become quite confused. All right, uh, we can do the same thing with subtraction. I assume you understand subtraction works the same way. Uh, we can do simple multiplication. And A1, how about times 5? And B1 times 5, and we can see what this produces. So you can see uh, for A1, times 5, we just multiplied each and every element by 5. Again, B1 times 5, each and every element times 5, which is what we would expect. Now, A1 times B1, we can see what happens here, and we get the, two, the numbers multiplied together. So if I look at my original numbers, I have 1 and 2. I can see them over here in my environment. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 3 is 12, and so on, all the way across. So it's, it's doing it element-wise. So each position gets multiplied to each position. Now, this is different than what you would expect from if you use a language like MATLAB, which is if you put a simple star, it's going to do matrix multiplication on it. This is not matrix multiplication here, and we'll do that in, a, in another video. All right, so let's play around with a matrix real quick. Uh, make two matrices uh, that are pretty simple. So let's do first put our comment in here. Okay, so I'm going to call this M1. It's going to be a matrix. I'm going to define it to be 1, 2, 3, 4. It has four elements in it. And the number of rows is going to be 2, and the number of columns is going to be 2. Now, I don't actually need to specify both of these. If I specify the number of rows, it'll figure out the number of columns. Uh, and then I have M2 here. And let's make this for 3, 2, 1 so that we can see the difference. You should have already looked at the basic data structures video, and you can see how to create these as well there. Okay, so I have M1 and M2. I can run them, and now they are in my data over here, and you can see the values there as well. What happens if I take M1 plus 5? Well, when I run this, I'm going to get 
5 plus each of the elements. Same thing with m2 plus 5. Uh, we'll add 5 to each of the elements. Similarly, m1 plus m2. And you can see that it does it element-wise. Five's everywhere because one plus four is five, two plus three is five, three plus two is five, four plus one is five. Okay, M1 times M2, and this is what you end up with, which is what you would expect to end up with if you do the simple multiplications. And it's doing it element-wise, and that's the key. We're working element-wise here. So I'll put here M1 times M2, and since it's doing it element-wise, you can actually do division here, direct division, if you wanted to. But matrices and vectors, addition and subtraction, multiplication, division, all work the same. What happens if I do exponentiation? So let's try that here. A1, let's say cubed. And then we'll do M1 squared. Let's see what happens. So a1 cubed gives us each of the values cubed. And that's what we would expect. If you can see, each one of these is a perfect cube. And when I square this, you can see I get 1 squared, 4, 9, and 16. So each one of those is a perfect square. So that makes things nice in the sense that it's still doing it on each element, not doing uh, matrix multiplication or anything like that along the way. Okay, so this gives you basic idea how to do basic addition and subtraction. So for completeness, I'll actually do subtraction and division in here. So M1 minus 3, we can see what that will be. And we can do M2 divided by, let's say, 3 and see what happens. So if I run this, you can see I subtracted it off. And here, M2 divided by 3. You can see it just simply divides each number by three, and it works out quite nicely. Uh, notice the precision here. You get all these decimals because of the dividing by three, and that's what you would expect as well. So let me put another comment in here. Other operators to deal with here. And we're going to use these later, so keep this in mind. And, th and this is just part one, so this is just our basic matrix or basic addition and subtraction on vectors and matrices. What we're going to do in the next video is matrix multiplication and matrix operations so you can see how those work. If you're not interested in matrix uh, algebra, then you can probably skip that video. But uh, for those of you who are interested in matrix algebra and matrix algebra operations, please watch the next video.